defeat at the hands of uh, Ecuador, which reminded me about uh, the skill and quality of uh, Enna Valencia, the former uh, Everton man. So uh, you always get uh, one of one or two of these old hands popping up, don't you, uh, old stages? But uh, what I know about this Qatar team, I could uh, write the back of a very small postage stamp. Anyway, it is Senegal on the ball now with uh, Cooley Barley, the uh, captain and uh, Chelsea player. Finds uh, Jacobs, who uh, plays at uh, Monaco. And uh, just keeping hold of the ball. Uh, Senegal in a white strip today. Uh, the Maroons in maroon, all maroon. The ball's out to uh, Sibali, the uh, Real Betis player. And just happy along the back for uh, Diallo now. Raking crossfield ball. It will eventually bounce through to uh, Sibali. Nods it on. It's giving way too much there. And Mohamed uh, Ahmed just able to shield that ball away. Felix Sanchez, the uh, Maroons coach, just getting busy there talking to his backroom staff. He actually uh, was born in uh, Barcelona. What is it about that uh, city? Anyway, he's the Qatar coach. He'll be hoping that his team can get the ball down and play. They're uh, back three with wing backs today. And uh, I'm reliably informed the right wing back's called Roro or uh, Pedro Miguel, if you like. And uh, he was actually born in Portugal. Anyway, the ball back to uh, Edouard Mendy, who uh, thumps it over the halfway line. Headed uh, back uh, where it came, and then a little scrap for the ball in the middle of the park. Schmelet Saar popping up on the right hand side. We used to see him on the left. And uh, done a little bit of championship football this season. And Saar's been superb for uh, Watford. I don't know what they'd do uh, without him, but uh, I, I dare say that there'll be uh, one or two trying to uh, court him. And uh, get him uh, into a Premier League side. Anyway, just for the moment, uh, it is uh, just a gun again on the ball. Looking to work it with uh, Diallo. The Leipzig uh, man flicks it forward. There is uh, Saar. His more usual position, but he's got to flick that ball back. And then police uh, Mendy picks it up, and then he finds Cooley Bali over the halfway line. Now Sabali, as uh, we see uh, Dia making a little break uh, forward. Bilai uh, Dia seems to be at the top of it. I, I would think today, really, they're 4 4 2. But uh, anyway, he just uh, bombs on now as there's a little break into the box, and maybe an opportunity a shot comes in. And in the end, uh, Saar hits the side netting. From the inside right position, he, uh, we're claiming uh, should have been something else. He's not going to get anything out of uh, Matthew Lajos today, the uh, referee. And uh, for those who've heard uh, me commentate before, oh, this fella, it's all about ego, the ref. He thinks he's bigger than the game, the Spanish referee. But anyway, seems to get all the big gigs. Uh, it's not that he gets it all right or wrong it's just a manner of him really arrogance about him anyway uh, enough about that so uh, yeah Pep Guardiola can't stand him can he uh, and there are probably reasons for that it seems to give him uh, too much in the uh, Champions League anyway all launch back to the feet of uh, Sibali fans uh, for Senegal bouncing already and uh, they're expecting uh, good game from the Lions of uh, Taranga but some good defending there uh, by uh, Roro and he uh, just sees off uh, Diata who uh, for the moment he's playing out the left hand side with the uh, star on the right for the most part anyway Sabali uh, on the little break right hand side can he find Sano he steps in balls taken away from him uh, though and maybe an opportunity now with Bidiaf in the middle of the park but the scamper from uh, Almoiz uh, Ali and the ball then out to the right hand side uh, for uh, Budiaf who keeps hold of it uh, Hylos uh, swaps passes and they're just happy to get their foot in the ball at the moment Ismail uh, Mohamed finds uh, Kukri touch back again by Budiaf and then back to Barsham the Maroons keeper who uh, left footed uh, launches that one and uh, then we just see uh, a thief trying to nick the ball away. I think it was judged to have been a foul. I didn't think he'd made contact then with Koulibaly, but uh, anyway, the referee uh, did think so. A thief uh, 
who, uh, like Calmo, is Ali, uh, he's playing up top, but in theory could play in the wing as well. They're, they're more attackers than out and out goal scorers. All said, Almo is Ali's 42 goals in 86 games suggests something else, doesn't it? That he plays quite well through the middle. He's certainly deadly, but point uh, being made, I suppose, is that they, they're both pacey enough and have the quality enough to play on the wing as well. But for the moment, they're playing without the ball. Just to say that the ball breaks to uh, Fief. A little half turn there, and that gets him around the first man, Sabali. Little ball on his inside. Oh, it catches the heel there of uh, Abdul Karim Hassan, who uh, made a forward break. He now mows his back, but I like that. A little bit of total football there from uh, Qatar. I mean, it's vital that they support the uh, two front men. And Hassan there, uh, a license to uh, get forward, seemingly, as uh, Senegal. Uh, forward ball but Kukri comes and heads that one away breaks into the middle of the park though and Alhaidos the skipper finds a, a good ball Almois there uh, having a scrap and uh, and in the end uh, some uh, committed stuff from uh, Jacobs he comes away with the ball now a chance for uh, Diata prepping uh, Diata the Monaco man makes it a little bit of ground down the left ball uh, flicked away off him uh, but that's going to have the to toe end of uh, Ismail uh, Mohamed Cissé looks on. His team have a throw. Paolo with the edge of the area. Uh, it looks like uh, Jacobs will take it. He's got a long throw. Maybe he uh, won't utilise it, although... Uh, yeah, just uh, go short this time uh, to uh, Bouladia. He plays his trade in Italy with the Salernitana. 26 years of age he is. And uh, like a little and larger... Uh, Attack as Sar puts a great ball into the box, a chance for a turn, but in the end, uh, Diaz looking for a team, and then a shot comes in from the edge of the area. But it's uh, a poor one from Mendy. Looking at Sar there, I thought he crossed the ball after the ball had gone out. Uh, maybe VAR would have uh, sorted all that out, but uh, anyway, the ball was cleared away, and then, like I said, the shot uh, well wide from uh, Mendy the first effort uh, in anger but what we do know about these uh, games is that you've got plenty of time to uh, sort it out you know uh, they've been put in lots of added time on a FIFA then on the ball middle of the park hustled and uh, harried by Mendy and the Leicester man makes him uh, work all the way back and uh, eventually uh, Kukri Kuki should I say plays back to Barsham who just launches a long ball off his right boot but he can only find Abdu uh, Diallo. And, and then Jacobs coming forward, but he's giving the ball away. Uh, Ismail uh, Mohamed goes back uh, to Pedro Miguel. Or Roro. Which trips easier off the uh, tongue, but the ball was rolling. There was a free kick there, which was given to uh, Qatar, which they took uh, too soon, according to our referee. Now, long ball to a thief, little flick on from him. They've got three against three. If they can work it, they do work it with uh, Mohamed Dahmed. He's crossed his block to Ed. Ball breaks back to him, and then he's uh, turning, trying to get to too much there. And uh, and in the end, the ball uh, comes off him, and not Sabali. Just trying to cut on the inside uh, there, uh, Mohamed Ahmed. Al uh, Garafi plays for. Most of the players, uh, Al Garaf, Al Duhail. Or outside, uh, the uh, Qatari team—they all ply their trade in Qatar, and uh, for whatever reason that is, uh, it kind of didn't work for North Korea. I, I guess it won't necessarily uh, work for uh, Qatar either. But at the moment, they're uh, they're doing okay. Eleven minutes gone, it's nil nil, and. Uh, the stats don't really uh, tell you an awful lot uh, right now. And, uh, so far, we've had uh, two efforts off target from uh, Senegal. And he was the last shot. I can't remember what the first one was, I think. Oh, it was uh, side netting from uh, Saar. So, uh, yeah, two, uh, not even quarter chances, uh, really. Um, anyway, ball just the edge of the box. Last ditch defending there from Pedro Miguel. I thought it was going to be wing back today, but he seems to be in the uh, middle. 
of the back as the ball goes out uh, to the right-hand side. And again, the Senegal will pick it up. Just getting a bit more ball at the moment. Mendy has uh, got uh, just a kind of game with him, and he finds him. Ball in a neat triangle, not really going anywhere quickly. As uh, Diallo now finds uh, an easy ball to Jacobs, have been creeping up the field. Afif seems the furthest forward. As uh, <coughs> just a kind of gate wins good ball in midfield, then he chips it out left hand side. Going to be picked up by uh, Diata. Ahead of Ishmael, ball laid back then for Diallo, ball into the box, that's it, headed away by Kuki, and uh, the uh, raid repelled. Just getting signs that Senegal are on top right now, the uh, Lions of uh, Taranga, seeing more of the ball, as uh, again they uh, break down the left with the Diata, and again it's, uh, it's meaning that the firing bodies forward a really good ball forward did there but in the end uh, dear couldn't take it in ball now with uh, dear duke but uh, he's beaten to it the ball breaks out right hand side then kept in uh, by sabali who uh, is going to have a little battle uh, with his man uh, maribot six a, a little toe end out takes the ball away from him uh, just a bit too strong and physical here uh, at senegal for qatar as uh, Jissigana Gay picks the ball up, he goes back to Koulibaly, they're parked at the edge of the Maroons area now. Again, uh, ball outright, Sabali looking to thread the eye of a needle, this time he's uh, ball to Jissigana Gay, doesn't find him. Just looking to work into the byline, but playing a bit of football, like getting the ball down. Um, earlier we saw uh, Iran outwork Wales and, and then uh, show a, a good range of passing, uh, they, they took it a long time to get the victory that they actually deserved in that game but uh, here we're seeing Senegal get on top now they would have been favourites for this game coming into it but it's alright with saying that and, and another thing you know uh, Senegal doing it is uh, we just see uh, Almo Zali uh, there um, he's just going for the ball I thought Koulibaly upended him there running across his back legs I think that's a professional foul probably should have been a yellow card referee uh, a long way away from that but uh, I think he spotted it looks like he has given a free kick I don't know understand why that wouldn't be a yellow card but uh, at least he gave it good uh, movement there from Al Moyes like I said he's got a bit of pace about him and uh, Koulibaly was uh, uh, just left behind there a little bit it's a free kick it's a long way out so uh, the probability uh, here really is that Afif just chips it into the edge of the box. But uh, anyway, uh, he's uh, stood over the ball. We have now lied us to skip it, just touches it to him. Then he flicks the ball to the far post. The ball's uh, headed back in play and then away from uh, Diallo. Alhedos uh, then, uh, beat sharp turn from him. Little step over, buys himself some time. Ball back uh, then, maybe a chance of a crossing from the right hand side. Not a bad ball in from Ishmael Mohamed. Then the shot comes in. But uh, again from Afif on the half volley. Well, it uh, is a strike, not on target. Uh, let's look at his technique. He's trying to get over the ball. It's very difficult. Ball just sat up. He's leaning away. And uh, we know what happens to uh, that ball. Uh, high, wide, and ugly, uh, really. Um, but anyway. He'd, uh, he got to try and catch that on the half. I don't think there was any other thing he could do there, really. But uh, giving it a go, and that's their uh, first uh, effort. But uh, again, it's Senegal on the ball. And uh, again, uh, just uh, a little bit uh, sloppy uh, there from uh, Diedu. And then the shot comes in near post. That's a save by Barshem. Um, again, they're, uh, they're working closer to the goal now. Just taking a, another look, there was an element of uh, fortune. Mohamed's uh, attempted cross wasn't blocked away. They had three in the box then, but uh, I don't think Diata uh, picked out the right option. Um, I mean, he forced to save out the keeper, and they have got a corner kick. Uh, so uh, I've seen worse things, but uh, anyway, an opportunity now. 
Qatar are uh, not necessarily a small team, but uh, I think uh, Senegal would have the edge in the physical uh, physical challenges. The header comes in, it's gone wide from the corner kick there. They got the first header, uh, Dieu Dieu. It's uh, six foot four, he's their main target. Two players have gone down though, holding their heads. Um, anyway, the ball comes in, there's all sorts. Keeper came out, didn't get it. And, uh, and in the end, uh, Dieu Dieu. Just a glancing uh, header wide. You know, keeper came out, probably uh, put him off that. But uh, the half chances are uh, beginning to rack up, but time's off because the uh, two players had the collision still down. I was just watching the ball and watching Dieu Dieu's header rather than the uh, collision that ensued from that. But uh, we've seen plenty of these uh, incidents in the World Cup players. They are uh, so committed, aren't they? And so, yeah, Senegal have had, uh, I think, four chances now. One on target, that shot from Diata, the uh, ensuing corner headed wide. And uh, the fans, uh, fans behind the goal trying to uh, make themselves heard. Diallo it is, who's uh, down with uh, uh, Roro, Pedro Miguel, or uh, Miguel Pedro. But anyway, uh, it looks like they're both all right. Uh, it was uh, uh, a bit of a clash as the uh, very colourful scene, the Senegal fans and the Qatar fans uh, politely uh, clapping their team. And as we mentioned uh, earlier today, Wales uh, beat, oh, sorry, Wales were beaten 2 0 by Iran. Um, I, I, I really, I mean, that was a, a real dramatic contest. Very emotional at the end as well. You know, uh, I was really aware uh, that the uh, that Iran team were going out on a bit of a limb, not singing the anthem at the first game against England. They finished uh, their two goals really well with Siremi, didn't they? And showed that they got a bit of teeth about them. It was a lame performance really against England. But they put a lot of energy in, and I, and I think they got their deserved victory against Wales, a thief making ground down the right hand side, encouraged by the fans over on that far side. And he's uh, won his team of throwing, Ishmael Mohammed takes it quickly, and there's a little fight to, for the ball. But uh, again, it, uh, it breaks off one of the white shirted Senegalese players, and he, uh, it will be a throw in for uh, Qatar. Yeah, I, I felt that uh, certainly uh, the uh, Iranian fans made a load of noise. You know, uh, the 11 that took the field deserved their victory. And uh, I, I thought it was great as well. The, the, uh, the, the Welsh fans waited uh, and, uh, you know, uh, they, they applauded the uh, Iranian boys off. Ooh, was a very poor challenge there by uh, Ismail Mohammed. He gets a yellow card. Uh, just uh, doing his wrecking ball stuff there. But uh, he chopped right through uh, Dia. Can't do that anymore. You know, uh, <laughs> regardless of that, he got a little bit of the ball. Just uh, absolutely wiping his man out there. And that's actually a good decision from uh, Matthew uh, Lajos. Anyway, 20 minutes gone. It's Qatar nil, uh, Senegal nil. Sabali on the ball and Koulibaly. Senegal trying to work down the right hand side. Uh, where Saar is, I think, their most influential uh, player. He had a decent first half against the uh, Netherlands. He went a little bit quiet second half, but so too did the entire uh, Senegal team. As the uh, Netherlands uh, got a bit of a, a, a grip, they won that game 2-0. So uh, here we go, a break uh, now for Sabali. Puts an early ball in, deep, too deep. Too much uh, adrenaline on that one. That uh, floated straight out. Qatar nil, Senegal nil in this uh, Group A encounter. You're listening to uh, independent off tube studio commentary i'll be doing the uh, netherlands uh, ecuador which is uh, another group a encounter that's the four o'clock kickoff and then all eyes on england at usa and if the three lions uh, can uh, win that game and then they uh, will be assured passage through but uh, i don't think anything will be handed on a play they're gonna have to work uh, their socks off aren't they 
Um, it was a good performance, uh, England against Iran. I think, as we've seen throughout the tournament, if you get uh, an early goal, you know, uh, I think that certainly breaks the game an awful lot. If you're lucky enough to make the breakthrough or skillful enough, then uh, you can uh, absolutely work dividends. But we haven't got a, a goal early. There was a deliberate handball uh, there, and that wasn't uh, so clever. So, uh, I think, uh, was that Budiaf? Uh, anyway, it's an opportunity now uh, for uh, a free kick. It's on the right hand side for Senegal. Um, they're going to sling the ball in the mixer here. So, uh, anyway, we're just waiting for uh, hopefully a good de delivery in from uh, Jacobs, the uh, Monaco man. Anyway, Gay's with him. False start, then Jacobs plays the ball, it's easily uh, cleared away. There's a player uh, down, got caught there, and uh, referee spotted uh, Diadieu uh, with some. Uh, some nonsense there as uh, he rushing back trying to get on side from the false start bounced Kuki and uh, well you're not allowed to do that um, anyway so far uh, I've got to say it's through gritted teeth but uh, Matthew Lahos the referee has got everything right more or less anyway Qatar nil Senegal nil halfway through the first half and uh, it's not been that exciting to be honest 65% uh, possession for Senegal who uh, uh, yeah I, I think they're, they're they, they look like the better team out there all uh, just laid back to Hassan first touch not great means his second touch is a clearance out to the stand uh, not good from him uh, Abdul Karim Hassan anyway you think uh, that Qatar would uh, be trading on uh, close skills and uh, an ability but uh, as Saar just uh, fouled there uh, by Mohamed Ahmed who uh, just got in too deep I think they're aware that, that Saar's a danger man they just, uh, do not want to let him turn right thing to do prefer Saar playing the left hand side I don't know why um, I think maybe you know to upset a rhythm or whatever early doors but I think I prefer seeing him back out on the left uh, now Anyway, uh, game with a good ball to Sabali. Again, Senegal uh, looking to uh, get uh, moving. And again, uh, just a little step over for uh, Mendy. And uh, Gay looking for a given goal, gets it back from Diaz. Shot comes in. Right footed, just wide. Nice bit of football, that. Needed a bit more uh, bend on the uh, ball. And uh, yeah, they're uh, taking it in turns. But uh, need to get a bit more on target. Just a gun again, not far away. Trying to hit it uh, with the uh, outstep of his right boot to uh, just curl it in there. Didn't quite get enough curl on it. Not was moving uh, closer toward the goal, but uh, I think in fairness to Michel uh, Basham, they probably got that one covered. It remains Qatar nil, Senegal nil, Sabali. Senegal again coming forward. Uh, his ball dragged on the inside. He's continued his run, but it was uh, yeah going to be difficult to find him. And uh, his run never let him go. I'm always uh, Ali chasing back hard for his team there. You know uh, they're they're working double time Qatar, but they're not really getting anywhere. So uh, you know hard work. Uh, I don't think he's going to win it. The Lions here doing their best. The thief goes back deep to pick the ball up there. Again, no shortage of hard work from Qatar. That in itself is admirable, but uh, doesn't win you a game, does it? Al-Haidus. And then into uh, midfield. Budiaf, we haven't seen much of him. And then the ball all the way back uh, to uh, Barsham. Just struggling to get anything uh, going. Ball uh, clipped out. Hassan then with the little header into his own path. He's got an opportunity here, an overload on the left hand side. Uh, he's gone for a strike. Wow, such a wasted effort from uh, Hassan, who claims he was being fouled there. Take another look at it. Oh no, he's claiming uh, the deflection, and it should be a corner. And indeed, it should be because it came off the uh, toe end uh, of uh, just a Ghana Gay as the long ball forward here, but a lack of control from uh, Diadieu. And uh, in the end, the keeper comes out and gets it. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a little bit unlucky uh, there. 
uh, Hassan but uh, he didn't win his side of corner anyway his shot was pretty poor uh, I don't think uh, regardless of the deflection that shot was going to trouble the keeper but here come uh, Qatar again uh, Boudia for good ball out to the right hand side a chance for a cross in from uh, Mohamed flicks it on his inside looking for a little shimmy in a turn there but the ball's uh, taken away it was uh, good defending it in the end for Senegal to uh, win the ball back and then play out from the back with uh, Sabali Jacobs finds him just uh, missed Koulibaly there and then again a bit of slow play from uh, Senegal you know uh, the, there is a lot on the game but uh, you'd never really know it from uh, the way that they've uh, gone about it ball to the box is sliced away by uh, Kuki and uh, unfortunately for him that means it's a corner kick you have to get something I mean shin that one uh, really uh, but you know he's uh, doing his level best to clear his lines uh, Bualem Makuki who is uh, over 100 caps for his team 131 for uh, Hassan as the uh, ball in at the near post is uh, headed away by Almoez uh, Ali but uh, get this there uh, skipper Hassan al Haidus, 170 caps with 36 goals that's something to be proud of so uh, very experienced team but uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they're any good does it uh, at the moment they're second best in this game albeit that we haven't got a goal Senegal have created bits and more pieces in there here they go again with the Diata down the left hand side uh, early ball into the box headed away by Kuki headed back into the mixer headed uh, well uh, across the box uh, keeper comes out gets a double punch then Sabali with a strike and that's gone wide well he hit it uh, first time the ball breaks out to him after a bit of iffy goalkeeping uh, by Basham and uh, Kuki's uh, defensive header wasn't good and uh, in the end uh, you know, uh, Diadu just uh, standing his ground there trying to uh, to get in the way when he breaks back to uh, Sabali he uh, can't do uh, too much uh, with it so I want to see a bit more of Ismail Asar in the game Qatar nil Senegal nil there's a long ball for Qatar to nobody in particular Afif uh, will chase it a step over from uh, Sabali and he's uh, very cleverly uh, got rid of his potential uh, headache Mendy comes out then takes a short ball he's well out of his goal we've seen uh, Mendy play poorly this season so much so that uh, he lost his place in that Chelsea team um, really poor game against Leeds didn't they uh, Orbit there were uh, m you know mix-ups at the back as uh, this time a cross comes in from the right from Qatar Mendy comes out and claims it then a long ball forward maybe an opportunity here and the uh, star keeper comes out doesn't get there Kuki now really cool heads it back to his keeper Basham came in he didn't get there and uh, I wondered what Saar was going to do it's uh, a brilliant uh, kick out from Mendy nearly gets the assist there and, uh, and there Saar got the first touch but he uh, just didn't do anything with it really and in the end Kuki just nods it back to his keeper there's a foul in the middle of the park as uh, Mohamed Ahmed uh, goes down Tagged there by uh, Dia, by uh, Dia, who uh, gets a yellow card. Didn't see the incident, so we're uh, not entirely uh, certain, but uh, certain that the Qatari man is uh, left rolling on the ground in agony. That much we do know. So uh, Bulai Dia is the first uh, Senegalese uh, player in the book today. And uh, yeah, no uh, attempt to play the ball. Just comes in late on uh, Mo uh, Ahmed. He was still down, by the way. We've had uh, one or two stoppages. Uh, that puts the fear of God into me. I uh, don't really want uh, 10 minutes uh, added time at the end of this half. Anyway, uh, it is what it is. We'll, we'll take what we're given. Uh, there was loads of time added on to the uh, around Wales game, wasn't there, uh, with uh, Wales trying to hang on with uh, 10 men. Um, just looking uh, at that uh, chance for Ismail Asar before 
Uh, I have to give a bit of credit to uh, Barsham because he comes out and makes a save. Um, so he closed the ground down, uh, Barsham. I think I said, oh, he looked a bit hairbrained, but listen, he's come out and got a, a vital touch there. So uh, I'll give him uh, a bit of credit where I was giving him none before. I'm sure he'd be thrilled about that. But it's still uh, nil nil. Game hasn't uh, yet restarted because of the injury to uh, Mohamed uh, Ahmed as the maroon warm up there at subs <coughs> and again uh, well he's uh, he's getting his right arm bandaged uh, now Mohamed uh, Ahmed so uh, I thought it's it sort of like knee to knee oh, and then he, he went down heavily and uh, yeah it's sprained wrist I would have thought there you know, they're, clearly they water the pitches quite heavily they, it's funny because the turf comes up, doesn't it? But I think there must be uh, quite hard underneath. Anyway, uh, no, no moans about the playing uh, surfaces. And, uh, anyway, uh, he is up. Play uh, will continue with uh, Afif. He's gone deep again to uh, pick the ball up again, uh, lays it off to uh, Pedro Miguel. Just see a little bit of uh, juggling with the ball by Kuki. He gets away with it. Long ball forward looking for uh, Almoez and find him. And, uh, and in the end, the ball is uh, just uh, nicked off him. Uh, Diadu uh, there is uh, cleaned out by Kuki. Long ball forward. Kuki just came and blundered through the back of him. Through the big number 19, Diadu. Who uh, plays his club football in Turkey. For Alian Sport. Anyway, uh, he's got a pretty good scoring record at, uh, for his uh, country. Ten goals in 24 games, if Wikipedia is to be believed. Which oft times it isn't. Um, anyway, a thief on the ball now. That's a clever little uh, flick from him. He keeps the move uh, going now. Elmo is to a thief. Into the box he goes. An opportunity. Oh, and he waits for it. There's a challenge comes in through the back of him. The uh, referee, what's he doing? He's shaking his head. A thief is waiting for the contact and he got it. Uh, he got the Senegalese defender, blundered through the back of him. And uh, he's pleading with our referee, uh, Senor Matthew Lahorse, for a penalty. Let's take another look at it. It was great play. I'll mow the ball into his path. He's running in. And then for me, he's taken out. You know, uh, it's a strong challenge on him. He's waiting for it. And uh, I think he gets it as well. For me, that would be a penalty, but uh, I don't know. So uh, we'll have to wait and see about that, won't we? You know, uh, is that the kind of thing that uh, you're going to get? A thief is certain. Uh, Matthew Lahorse is uh, less so and doesn't give it. It was Ismail Lassar. It was a real striker's challenge coming back there. I feel really uh, sorry for Akram Afif. Um, it looked to me like it was a penalty, but it's not being given. Sars no attempt to play the ball I mean VR's got to take a look at that and you know you, you always think about the the referee I don't like the referee right but he, he'd actually had a good game but he's got one angle to look at how it looks to to him you know we've just seen an angle that was absolutely devastating Saar bundles through the back of a thief but yet yeah, we know that our referee didn't get that angle to see um, well we'll just break off as they did do a little flick go forward now maybe a chance the ball won't break for either Diadu or Dia as the keeper slides out to Barsham. Honest to goodness though, I feel really sorry for Qatar there. Um, and that, you know, was a guilt-edged opportunity. You get a penalty kick and, you know, you, you fancy yourself, don't you, to score that goal. And uh, I just think there that Saar has just absolutely bundled through him. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't get why, you know, what's going on with the VAR in this tournament. You know, uh, they're giving stupid little shirt hole for, you know, a, a millisecond and there when somebody, no attempt to ball, absolutely wipes somebody out. He's just about to shoot a thief. He settled himself. He knows he's ahead of, uh, of the runners there. So, uh, if you're ahead of the opposition, yeah, never got upsides this side he's just behind him he blunders through him oh 
honest to goodness, I can't can't tell you what a bad decision that was. Anyway, I I, I doubt I'll get any uh, any of the thoughts off uh, social media at the moment. I, I think this is one of those games that lots of uh, people watching the World Cup will decide. Well, I've seen enough football, and this this is the game that I, I won't bother with. But I, t I tell you what, you know, uh, if the uh, host uh, nation here want to get through, then uh, uh, they'd be hoping to, to get a decision. But uh, anyway, Maribo now, who started that to move off for, for uh, Almoas in a, a thief. Um, he uh, trying to get involved. He yeah, has a really good pass to put a thief through by Almoas. Uh, and all that uh, after good work uh, by uh, Maribo. You know, all of a sudden, just stringing passes together, and that's all it uh, needed. But uh, anyway, not to be. 37 minutes gone, Qatar nil, Senegal nil, and uh, well, I can moan a bucket, but uh, it's not going to change anything. But uh, I, I feel uh, so aggrieved uh, that Qatar didn't uh, get a, a penalty kick. But uh, anyway. I don't think uh, yeah, if the BBC is thinking about it on their live text then uh, they, they tend to be very conservative in what they put down unless they, they've got somebody uh, watching it you know a Pat Nevin or a, one of those who has got something to say uh, and they repeat a quote or something you, you don't really get anything off them but uh, I'll be sure to ask our boys in the office who are watching it that, uh, at the break what they thought about that So far, Senegal have been the better team, but uh, they haven't created an awful lot. And, uh, yeah, the main, uh, the main chance there uh, were, would have been that penalty kick had it been given. So far, uh, six uh, efforts from Senegal, two on target, two relatively uh, comfortable saves. But uh, we did see Saar through one on one. Barsha make a good save. the at a shot of the near post that was turned round the post that's probably the two best efforts and then uh, a number of uh, efforts wide there's uh, Adibo there uh, nearly getting in a mess with his uh, goalkeeper and they're just uh, able to clear their lines the uh, referee again uh, grabbing the ball off the team making it about him hands the ball back uh, to Senegal who uh, restart and uh, Jacobs again had come uh, quite uh, high up the field Again, they're uh, throwing a, a little bit cautious to win, trying to uh, balance the team out. Again, the ball goes backwards, though. Uh, Jacobs then in the two. Defeat of uh, Mendy and then Sabali trying to get forward. At the moment, there's uh, three attackers against three defenders. As a thief will close Mendy down, uh, who uh, launches a long ball. Well, Mendy uh, nearly got an assist for that sour effort that was saved by uh, Barsham. As a thief, uh, now he's on the ball to uh, midfield for his skipper Al Haidos. the ball goes back for uh, Pedro Miguel and then out to the right for Ishmael Mohamed he can't find the de defence splitting ball but neither can the next fall find uh, Diata as the ball goes all the way back to uh, Basham who uh, launches it long chested by Koulibaly to uh, Mendy and then back with uh, Sabali and uh, then Jacobs Diallo Senegal keeping the ball but uh, the Lions of uh, Teranga not really going anywhere at the minute and uh, the Maroons uh, just holding their shape there's only a thief over the halfway line at the moment though and uh, they're, they're, they've got to work hard they tend to drop back into their own half defending you know, uh, but they've shown uh, enough quality uh, trying to get forward at the odd attack Breaking ball in the box here for uh, Senegal. Kuki has it in his feet. Oh, he stopped it. He made a mistake. And that mistake has led to a goal for Boulay Dia for Senegal. Qatar nil, Senegal won. And just when you thought they got everything worked out, a mistake at the back. And uh, an easy finish for Boulay Dia. And, uh, well, the uh, Senegalese fans in the crowd go uh, crazy. 
but all that came uh, build up down the left hand side the camera lingers uh, maybe not on Kuki trying to work out who it was there as the players now taking on board uh, a bit of water so uh, uh, the ball into the box well uh, Kuki uh, tries to clear it slices it it comes off his backside actually uh, just a shame for him uh, really yeah, he uh, uh, and then it, I mean it's almost like an assist the, the ball couldn't have been laid off more perfectly into the path of uh, Deer uh, an easy uh, right foot finish nothing keeper could do there he's not even set for that really you know uh, Kuki uh, I, I don't know if he slid on the turf or what happened to him there but uh, he wasn't even a slice clearance I think standing leg went from under him ball hit him on the back side it just presented itself beautifully to uh, Bulai Dia and, uh, and there we go uh, three goals in the last six for uh, Dia but uh, I think we'd all fancied ourselves scoring that one to be honest with you whether you're right left footed the ball was just on a plate uh, it was inside the box Afif's having a go at the referee uh, and I'll tell you why because he thinks that shouldn't be the uh, the goal that's given the lead he, he thinks they should have had a penalty and I agree with him so that's why he is uh, unhappy and still having words with the referee the, if the referee's not in a position I mean it wasn't a good decision from him because I think he got it wrong but isn't that what VAR is about did I miss a meeting or something is there a memo going around that said, oh, leave it? You know, uh, VR's not there to back the referee up when he's bad decision. You know, it's there to point out when he's made a big mistake, which is what he did. Ball to the box here, uh, maybe an opportunity, but uh, dear Duke, uh, trying to keep it in, uh, just uh, wanting too long of the ball. And uh, Kuki, just trying to see what happened to him again. Did he slip? Did he slide? You know, uh, it's one of those things I mean it looks terrible um, but uh, in a, it is what it is that sometimes that ball's fired in and as a defender it's near you but you can't quite get there and it is what it is he's got to make an attempt you know he's got to try and get something on the ball but uh, you know just not enough and and then my other thought about that is as well that if you put enough ball into the box putting a team under pressure that's gonna pay off Senegal have had the uh, ball in the opposition uh, half plenty often as uh, Pedro Miguel goes down they're caught by his own man right into his chest he looks like he's in a spot of bother uh, stomach and ribs two players jump into each other there uh, no shout and he ends up in the knees of uh, uh, Ismail uh, Mohammed wow you know about that all right he looks in a real spot of bother Well, you know what, Felix Sanchez looking on. Just sometimes things don't work out, do they? Uh, you need every little bit of luck that's going in sport. And uh, again, I, I'm just looking at Kuki. I mean, he, what really happened to him there? He's at an angle. He, he's got to try and clear the ball. At the angle he's at, his standing leg, leg gives way a little bit, his left leg. So the, the ball eventually, uh, I think, slices from his right foot onto his backside, which eventually just drops it into the path of uh, Bulai Dia. Anyway, we're closing in on 45 minutes, but I think there might be eight or nine minutes of added time. There have been uh, plenty of stoppages, haven't there? Uh, equally, uh, a goal behind. I don't think the authorities uh, would want to uh, go short on uh, Qatar. Seven minutes. Uh, I'm not overly surprised about that. There have been one or two stoppages, uh, really. Good header away then by Hassan. Ball in the middle of the park. As uh, Fief, a lovely little turn from him. Can he straighten up? Well, he uh, hurdles one challenge, but there's so many players around him in white shirts. Eventually forced back into his own half. And uh, Mendy, close company. Ball given away by Hassan. And now uh, Senegal uh, looking to uh, break out left hand side. With uh, Jacobs. Then the ball to uh, Diallo. Pedro Miguel wins it but uh, then he uh, runs into trouble 
this time got one in the chops but uh, play will go on again uh, Diallo on the ball cuts inside Ismail Mohamed tries to flick the ball away but this time it's one in the uh, middle of the park and if it worked hard there Maribo will play behind uh, Afif he doesn't need that he needs something better than that the ball goes all the way back to uh, Mendy who launches it uh, long Kuki fights for the ball it breaks to uh, Ismail Mohamed and uh, then Tempted flick on from uh, Almoaz, uh, only breaks into the feet of Gea in midfield. And Sabali tagged late. The referee uh, comes across. Sabali down, uh, clutching his uh, right shin. And it's a yellow card for the late challenge. I don't think he could wait to uh, to book uh, Mohamed uh, Ahmed. And, uh, but he just left it in there, he left it late. And uh, well, it is what it is, really. I don't think he could really do too much else there. And uh, and any fence, the referee, that's the right call for my money. Moham uh, Ahmed. Well, Moham has got on his shirt. It's obviously uh, for short. Anyway, uh, 47 minutes gone, but uh, don't you worry. There's five minutes left of this uh, first half been a real feature hasn't it of the uh, of the World Cup you always get something don't you sometimes it's not necessarily good things you remember the uh, that terrible ball in South Africa Ooh, uh, we've got a new ball have you really the Jabalani do you remember that terrible uh, football that was <laughs> it's, it's like we've got a new football we haven't tested it or anything and actually it doesn't travel through the air particularly well but we're going to play with it anyway all right yeah, that South African World Cup, eh? Vuvuzelas. Uh, some of them have uh, broken back out of this World Cup. It's mainly sound out at the byline. Can he do anything? Puts a decent ball in. All he could do was hook his foot around that and bash him. The keeper able to come out and claim that. Yeah, I think the, the advent of uh, playing a realistic uh, time for the stoppages is a good one, in my opinion. Albeit uh, not great if you're doing a, a lone commentary. Anyway, Mario Bo in midfield. Uh, his ball just about reached the intended uh, target of uh, Bidiaf, who's been really quiet today. Ball uh, breaks down uh, to uh, Fif, just at the edge of the area, looking to work to the byline, gets the cut back in. His one is team a corner, comes off Kulu Bali. Qatar then have got a corner kick, an opportunity then. They've uh, not been up the field this often. As uh, <coughs> I think uh, actually it was Mohamed Ahmed uh, doing, uh, making good work there rather than a Fif, but anyway. It is a fee will take the corner kick now. And it's uh, right footed from the left hand side. So uh, expect this ball to uh, dip in. Two arms in the air. No idea what that means. The ball then uh, through the box. He's uh, nodded away. Pedro Miguel tries to pick it up. Diallo plays it off uh, uh, Ishmael Mohamed. And that will mean it's a Senegal throw. Well, the lines of Taranga doing just enough. But it's the referee uh, and the VAR that have uh, robbed Kitar. Of at least the opportunity of a penalty in this game. And when uh, Afif was through after a great uh, team uh, move, he's bundled over by Ismail Asar. No attempt to play the ball. Absolute, uh, you know, uh, stonewall penalty that uh, didn't occur. Uh, poor clearance there from Barsham. He gets away with that. And now Qatar playing their way out. Trouble down the left hand side with uh, Ahmed. Just uh, holds on to the ball a little bit. Oh, he uh, goes back to Hassan, back to his keeper Basham, who uh, again uh, passes it out well onto the chest of uh, Moham on the left hand side. He uh, switches it cross field looking for Pedro Miguel, who uh, picks it up and scampers. Little flick ball forward here, but that's easy for uh, Mendy. Oh, Moes was on the half turn, but the ball was uh, way too hard hit. Very difficult to uh, time that ball when it's straight. So it looks like uh, we might uh, reach half time with just one goal in this first half. I'll take that though. I'd already done a couple of nil nils in the tournament. I do feel uh, aggrieved on Qatar's behalf though. I should have had a pen. But uh, anyway, we're back now with uh, Mendy. Looks like uh, Senegal are happy to take this lead into the break. The ball uh, now. Dealt with by Hassan into the middle of the park with uh, uh, Maribo. Then a long ball for looking for Afif Koulibaly. 
he's able to deal with that as Kital throw a few bodies forward Kuki now comes out to win the ball but uh, then he's uh, beaten to it as uh, good work there by Diadu just uh, getting back for his team to Bali on the overlap but he won't get that ball as he breaks now to a thief then he got Koulibaly ahead of him but he sticks out a long leg this time the Chelsea man and he gets there takes the ball off him a minute left of this uh, first half then Qatar nil Senegal one as uh, again Senegal will break down there left hand side with Jacobs and then uh, Diallo he's had a quiet first half Saar has been uh, really quite two bar one chance anyway Senegal finished with Sabali on the ball seconds left of the half the uh, just goes backwards to uh, Ghana Regista Ghana Gaya who uh, again is at the edge of the area looking for a given goal just looking to uh, work it out to Saar who uh, steps across the first challenge Dia lays the ball back and uh, Diallo comes to uh, to greet it and it looks like uh, the referee uh, is about to uh, blow his whistle has he done so yeah all the players now meandering off so it is uh, Qatar nil Senegal won at the break It is half time at the Al Tumama Stadium. It's Qatar nil, Senegal one. And the uh, Maroon will feel that they're desperately unlucky at that. Uh, Senegal were the better team. But Qatar, I thought, had got a penalty when Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Not too away, far away from Matthew Lahore's, but he waved it away. Surely VAR would have given a penalty. He didn't. Um, we've seen a couple of uh, shots on target with Senegal before Boulay Dea was handed it on a plate by a miss. Uh, read by uh, Kuki in the back. Uh, Dia took full advantage for 1 0. It's half time at the Alti Mamet Stadium. It's Qatar 0, Senegal 1. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it and he should have been overturned by VAR but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Cookie couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Bulai Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Alti Mamet Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in, Cookie couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Alti Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won, Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box, referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it and he should have been overturned by VAR but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in, Cookie couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Alti Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won, Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box, referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it and he should have been overturned by VAR but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in, Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Alti Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won, Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box, referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it and he should have been overturned by VAR but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in, Cookie couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. 
It's half time at the Al Mamet Stadium. It's Qatar nil. Senegal one. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Cookie couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mamet Stadium, it's Qatar nil, Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. 
It's half time at the Altium Abbott Stadium. It's Qatar nil. Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Amat Stadium. It's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. 
Half time at the Altium Mammoth Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal one. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it and he should have been overturned by VAR but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mammoth Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it and he should have been overturned by VAR but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mammoth Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mammoth Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mammoth Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it, and he should have been overturned by VAR, but wasn't. A couple of shots on target for uh, Senegal from Diata and Saar before eventually. Uh, we saw uh, a ball played into the box, fizzed in. Kuki couldn't deal with it, came his backside, presented itself beautifully to uh, Boulay Dia, who hammered home his finish with his right boot. It's half time at the Altium Mammoth Stadium, it's Qatar, nil Senegal won. Qatar will feel unlucky that they didn't get a penalty after Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar in the box. Referee Matthew Lahos didn't give it. Right, the uh, players are all back out there, and the uh, second half has started. So, uh, like we said, uh, Senegal uh, have the lead. And uh, as it stands uh, in the group, uh, there'll be three teams on three points, but uh, Qatar on none. And uh, don't forget uh, the uh, game between Ecuador and the uh, Netherlands uh, will be uh, the four o'clock kickoff today. And then, of course, it's uh, England. It'll be uh, a good game against the uh, United States of America who have uh, beaten England and drawn with England in the World Cups and never lost to England yet. Surely that's got to change at some point, you would have thought. Uh, anyhow, or maybe not. Um, ball it uh, long here for uh, Senegal, headed back where it came by uh, Kuki, who uh, got unlucky, uh, if you like, with the uh, with the goal. Ball, uh, trying to clear it away, I think the standing leg went, scraped off his shin, and uh, Presented itself to his backside, and then the ball just popped up for uh, Abdullahi or Bulai Dia to uh, thump home. And as I've mentioned uh, in uh, the affronted way that I do, uh, Akram Afif should have got a penalty, but I, I, I just don't understand football. Uh, they've got they've got a chance to to right the wrongs. I've I'm, I'm not got a lot of time for the referee, but I, I think he had one view, uh, and I've seen about five or six. Who is more inclined to get that call right than me or him? It, it would be me. Um, I wonder too about referees, whether they've ever kicked a ball in their life and understand quite what's going on at times and why things happen. Um, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just thought it was uh, a glaring, huge mistake. Well, if he did make a mistake, I, I've got sympathy for uh, a referee who's only got one viewpoint, maybe looking away at the wrong moment, or just to plain got it wrong. And surely that's what VAR is there for, to take a look. You know, it was a major incident. It's not like, oh, well, the game must go on at all counts, let's not stop it for anything. You know, we're, we're, we're stuck in between 
sometimes these things are important, aren't they? As uh, Sars trying to roll around the back of uh, the uh, Qatar defence. The ball's put out. Uh, good challenge by Hassan, but it is a corner kick. You know, you just got to get the basics right, don't you? And I, I think that deserved a look. And I think, uh, you know, had he had his time again, Matthew Lahore's maybe would have made a different decision. Uh, maybe not. As the header comes in and the near post and it's 2-0. And it's Diadieu, the man that they needed to look out for. All six foot four of him. Finds the back of net with a header from the corner. It's 2-0. It's looking a tall order right now for Qatar. But the uh, Senegal fans are celebrating. Can't switch off for a moment. Near post header. And so 2-0 now and for Mare Diadieu has uh, well provided a real shot in the arm to uh, Senegal and uh, for uh, Qatar well they're uh, staring down the barrels aren't they uh, an 11, 11th goal like I said he's 10 in 24 now 11 in 25 is a good return and uh, he just made ground at the near post glancing blow across the keeper it's a great uh, effort um, Really good header. Um, keeper looked a bit small there, actually. Uh, the header went across him. But uh, anyway, it's a good header from the uh, corner kick, and that's 2-0. Uh, and like I said, uh, that's a uh, slap in the face that Qatar didn't need. They would have, uh, you know, tried to sort this and that out half-time. But uh, you come out after the break and almost immediately you're 2-0 down. Uh, not sure that was the plan. But uh, you felt certain that uh, they just had that slight height advantage. And, well, the man who is the height advantage, really, at six foot four, has come and grabbed the goal. It was a good corner, but it was more the movement from uh, Dia Dieu that, uh, that made it really. And, uh, yeah, he uh, scored a good goal there. 2-0. And uh, ain't that the story of this group at the moment? Uh, all the games have been 2 0. Can somebody bust out of that? As I've mentioned, the uh, Netherlands, Ecuador is 4 o'clock, and then England, the USA is at uh, 7. As uh, did you uh, just had a hand in the face of uh, Maribor there, who goes down. And it's a free kick, no more than that. Uh, one of them's a tall player, one of them's uh, relatively short. And uh, that's why. There was a contact with his face, but he, uh, as uh, Afif again, another lovely turn. He looks like a nice player, you know. Uh, just brought down uh, by uh, Nemplis uh, Mendy. Yeah, I uh, think for what I've, I haven't seen an awful lot of him really, but the bits and pieces I've seen him, he looks like a quality player, uh, Akram Afif, and I think maybe he's got a future uh, elsewhere. Like I said, all the uh, Qatari players play in Qatar. The uh, ball comes in and well there's a chance for uh, Hassani's header there uh, didn't get enough on it really let's take another look at it if he's ball in um, and he's offside anyway well that's the reason he got the uh, goal side but uh, anyway didn't get enough on it anyway uh, for it to get ruled out as the uh, ball has gone uh, wide but uh, again it was another hit in from Akram Afif uh, good uh, long ball floated into the box but uh, anyway they need uh, a little bit more than that look a little bit crestfallen now their crowd looks painted on when the uh, Senegalese fans are uh, having a, a bit of a party uh, but uh, it was kind of like that nil-nil anyway so uh, the uh, Qatar is looking on rather reserved uh, I guess wouldn't have expected too much out of the World Cup but would they is we see uh, Ishmael Mohammed brought down there and there's a yellow card uh, handed out by uh, Matthew Lahorse to uh, Idrissa Garnagate. Uh, he just trying to stop his man in his tracks. Cameron Lingers on uh, 15, Crepin uh, Diata. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, the uh, Everton man who uh, got carded. Anyway, uh, Ball right now with Kuki and then uh, with uh, Pedro Miguel. 
but uh, this time Ishmael had uh, run offside the uh, Al uh, Duhail and Ishmael Jacobs uh, giving a yellow card. That might, uh, rather than uh, Idris Agana Gay, I think that makes uh, a bit more sense. Looking for the right person to uh, pin that uh, yellow card on. It wasn't the Evertonian. Well, this game looks pretty commonplace uh, now. As uh, yeah, Senegal uh, looking to uh, make progress from a tricky group. Um, I, I think that uh, we always assumed that it would probably beat Qatar and that their big uh, game is going to be against Ecuador. Uh, they'll be, uh, you know, they'll be looking to beat them to to make progress, uh, uh, to assure progress. Uh, and here now they just have to uh, uh, see this game out, you know. Uh, and because Qatar need to get something out of it, it might just open them up as well. Um, I think you'd rather play Qatar the final game when, you know, uh, they've got they're forced to come forward a little bit more. They're still uh, playing like they they're worried about getting uh, thrashed rather than playing to get back in the game right now. As uh, you see them make a little bit of ground, uh, Al Moes uh, on the ball, and uh, then uh, Al Haidos ball to uh, Ishmael cuts inside the challenge, then he's uh, caught and. Uh, well, the uh, Alhaidos is screaming for a card, but uh, it's Jacobs there who uh, has already been shown a yellow card. Referee seems to be aware of that, and Alhaidos is saying there uh, he caught inside him. What about that? Isn't a yellow card? And uh, I would agree with him. Uh, no great attempt to play the ball, and then because he's got he's got beaten there, he hangs a leg out and he's brought him down. Um, it could be a yellow card. That he really could. I'm not suggesting that the referee ruined the game, but what, I, what I'm saying is I, I, I want the referee to be consistent. You know, uh, if, he's, if he's thrown his yellow cards around today, and so he has, but he's giving yellow cards for that kind of thing, and now he opts out because he doesn't want to send somebody off. Well, that's not right. Anyway, a thief has stood over the ball. It's like a, almost a short corner on the right-hand side. Can he uh, deliver? Decent looking ball in. Not being cleared away. A chance for a strike. And uh, eventually the shot comes in from Hassan blocked at source. And now the counter attack is on. But Afif comes back to win the ball. And he goes back to his uh, keeper. He controls it. Uh, so uh, the number three, Hassan, trying to get involved when he can. Um, just broke to him in the box there. But uh, yeah, he uh, is trying to get forward. Seen a little bit of, of, of what they've got now, uh, Qatar. And maybe they need to play Hassan as a target man, but he's uh, gone back into defence now to help out. Ball flick round the corner, but uh, Moham can't get on the end of that. And so it will just be uh, a throw from uh, Senegal. Well, uh, Hassan's shot was blocked by his own player there, Al Moyes. Uh, I don't know if uh, Mendy was. I think he was behind it. I, I would have put money on that he would have blocked that shot. But uh, he, he was inside the box, so you never know. Anyway, a long ball forward. But uh, no chance for uh, Jacobs to make uh, progress. I think if I'm uh, LUC saying now, I'd be thinking about taking Ishmael uh, Jacobs off. Uh, I just feel that uh, he's under a little bit of pressure and uh, more likely than anybody else to uh, get that second yellow card. You know, uh, we know that in this tournament, you know, uh, there, there could be 10 minutes added on at the end of the uh, second half or, or, or more. So I don't think uh, you, you want to do that with 10 men. Here uh, into the box, they go a shot from uh, Saar. Uh, he's uh, blocked away by Hassan. He's done well in his defensive duties there. Um, I think 3-0 will absolutely kill this game, uh, stone dead. But uh, anyway, if, if it's not dead already, uh, there's the ball uh, rolling forward. Uh, and uh, Halahidos in a good position there. Uh, the skipper in the box, the ball just wouldn't quite break to him. And, uh, and so uh, play continues. Just three minutes gone of the uh, second half when that second goal went in. and. Suck the life out of this game, all right. 
and uh, maybe suck the life out of uh, Qatar's uh, World Cup. They don't look the worst team you've ever seen. But, uh, you know, the second best in terms of uh, possession, um, territory, efforts on target. You know, all, all the things that might help you win a game. But uh, no shortage of effort. One or two nice players they've got. Like I said, a thief. Showing Hassan, he's got something about him. The uh, defender come striker at times. So interesting to see the different personalities. Is uh, Again, a little break from uh, Diata. Uh, he's just at the edge of the area now. Turns circle on himself. Dev Jacobs on the overlap. Goes back to uh, Gay And then Mendy. Chopped out of his feet to uh, Koulibaly. And then with uh, Sabali and Saar. Saar puts an early ball in. Looking for the strike. And the ball from Diadu is eventually picked up by Basham. The keeper who slides and claims it. And then rolls it out to uh, Abdul Karim Hassan. Who uh, just uh, rolls the ball out. Looks for a good pass. Ball picked up uh, by a thief in the middle. Back to uh, Hassan. Who uh, again finds uh, Mohamed. Decent uh, little uh, run by Al Moas and the ball clipped out to the right hand side for uh, Ishmael. Ishmael Mohamed uh, making a bit of a mess of that. But then uh, Diata runs back into trouble. We haven't seen Sarah so we haven't seen the two uh, wingers switch at all uh, today. Diata has given the ball away uh, more times than anybody else today. 13. Just uh, not been a great game. But uh, seemingly uh, under the radar and not spotted by his manager who hasn't yet made a change. I'm sure we uh, come three quarters of the way if uh, Senegal feel that they're comfortable in the game. They'll think about making changes. But uh, I don't see why you would keep uh, Krepin Diata out there. Of course, he ain't playing well. And I prefer to see Saar inside left anyway. Pedro Miguel, or Roro as he's known, on the ball. And he rolls forward but didn't get very far. And then into uh, midfield. Budiaf being really quiet. Maribor runs into a challenge. And uh, gets the better of uh, Mendy. But the ball's uh, headed away. Then won by Diadu. And uh, he tries to straighten up and flick it forward. Ishmael Mohamed picks it up. And then uh, Afif, a little step over, buys in time. He finds another maroon shirt. Got quality about him, uh, Afif. Just wonder whether he, he can finish it off. You know, he uh, should have got a penalty when he was bundled over by Saar. But uh, would he have hit the back of the net there? Uh, he was waiting for a challenge rather than maybe taking the strike on. Ball into the box here uh, for Qatar. Cleared away by Koulibaly. So, Hassan uh, back on it. Goes for a strike. Ooh, he really let fly there. It wasn't too far behind. He bounced back. And uh, yeah, buy tickets for Abdul uh, Karim uh, Hassan. Yeah, uh, I think Mendy probably had it covered, but it was a nice hit from a long, long way away. Um, all the efforts for Qatar have come from him in the second half, and he, he's a centre back. He's had a header wide, a shot inside the uh, box blocked, and they're uh, a long range, uh, not too far wide. He really caught hold of that. Real ambition from him. Sometimes he looks a bit harebrained, but. I don't see why. That would have lit up the tournament, wouldn't it? We haven't seen that many uh, pile drivers from 35, 40 yards. You do tend to get them because people try anything, don't they? Diadu tries to uh, cut inside Kuki, but he gets the better of him. Ball to Afif again. He uh, has done well there to uh, break the shackles of Sabali. Little overlap uh, for uh, Mohamed uh, now. Afif uh, trying to get there. He's on the little overlap now, and uh, he drives into the box now. Uh, they're meeting the sandwich between two. Not going to get that this time. Not that he got it last time, but uh, I like that. Um, you know, he's putting himself in a danger area and hoping that uh, he gets uh, chopped down. But in the end, it was just a bit of a squeeze on him rather than wholesale butchery that brought him down. Anyway, ball with uh, Maribo in midfield. And again, back to Afif. Again, ball at his feet. He's the right-footed clips. A good ball into Al Moaz. His shot comes in. And uh, Mendy tickles it wide. There was no great pace on the shot from Almoaz. 
but that was good play between the two strikers and that might have been on target Let's take a look again try to curl it in pass it into the back of the net they may have kissed the post in so uh, at least that's a shot to saved they haven't had to do too many of them and they're really uh, Edward uh, Mendy has had very little to do anyway corner kick, kick now if he will take it it's the third corner for Qatar Senegal have had three as well flags are waving in the background as the uh, corner taken short cleared through the box then sliced and kept alive now real opportunity for a Pedro Miguel his shot comes in uh, it's a poor effort left footed yeah, they've had a few chances second half Left-footed strike uh, leaves a lot to be desired. But, uh, yeah, a couple of chances there, and at least they've uh, brought a save out of uh, Mendy. Looking from behind the goal, was it going in? Uh, he struggled to get it out of his feet there. Uh, I think he's very much won for the programme notes, the save. But, uh, anyway, much better. And, uh, and in the end, the shot from uh, Pedro Miguel. Over. Well, guess what? The Diata's uh, going off. I'm surprised how long he lasted out there uh, having a poor game. But, uh, you know, equally there's uh, there's one or two um, for Qatar who uh, haven't really uh, uh, got going today uh, particularly. Pate Cis uh, is the man who's uh, come on. fresh legs out there he plays for uh, one of my favourite teams Rayo Vallecano he's a central uh, midfielder uh, really so uh, I don't know how that uh, quite changes things but uh, maybe just to uh, stiffen them up uh, Rayo uh, playing uh, Madrid and uh, it's uh, quite a big catchment they've got uh, half a million people live there pretty much immigrant population Ray Vallecano. Um, anyway, I suppose if you've got uh, Atleti and uh, Real Madrid to uh, to watch, you tend up supporting them, don't you? But they've got their fans, including me. Anyway, uh, the uh, ball uh, just cleared away in the uh, Qatar midfield. Again with uh, Jacobs. He'd be the, uh, another man I'd take off. Not he's not playing well, but because he's on a yellow card and he he's on the ball a lot and he tended to throw a challenge in as a thief a lovely little touchback that the ball back to him is a shocker he manages to keep the ball alive on the left hand side now where he's uh, running at uh, Mendy uh, he uh, doesn't find a good pass though and uh, Alhaidos uh, can't get on the end of his ball Senegal uh, very athletic aren't they and you know uh, do well those 50-50s the ball to uh, Diadieu uh, just uh, finds him uh, on the stretch he can't bring that one in 66 minutes gone Qatar nil Senegal 2 and there's uh, group A encounter and uh, the Maroons have played a little bit better since they've gone 2-0 down and had bits and pieces of chances as Sands had three efforts they had a wider shot blocked a long range effort before Almoez brought a save out of Mendy and uh, Pedro Miguel from close range uh, left foot strike should have been better uh, here a ball uh, into the box for the uh, Maroons he's uh, kept in on the uh, far side Elmoyes stretching uh, for that kept in uh, by Mohamed a good ball into the box an opportunity oh what a save by Mendy wowee they probably thought they'd uh, scored then as Ishmael uh, Mohamed uh, from close range is denied by Edouard Mendy great goalkeeper now it's a corner kick but uh, yeah I, I felt certain that they were going to score there the corner kick comes in it's headed up in the air by Diadu we're uh, not clear Pedro Miguel another uh, headed back in cleared out to by Koulibaly another corner so uh, Ishmael Mohamed from uh, close range close to uh, getting a goal came off his knee what a save by Mendy dive into his right 
So uh, had that gone in, that would have set the cat amongst the pigeons all right, wouldn't it? It's a really good save by many because it's really good technique, actually. The ball is uh, hit down, so it's on the bounce into him. Anyway, another corner kick comes in. This time it's uh, headed away, and they uh, should be able to clear their lines. Ball uh, comes back out to Ishmael Mohammed. Swings the ball back in the mixer again, headed away by uh, Cooley Barley. First, a uh, little bit of uh, siege laid on the uh, the goal of the Lions of Teranga. As the Maroon now looking to try and get themselves back in. Hassan on the ball. And then uh, with uh, Mohamed. As uh, the long ball it is uh, a poor one. Hassan was up for that, but... Uh, Playing almost on the right wing there, but the ball got long on him and it went straight out. With three quarters of the way through this game, Qatar nil, uh, Senegal nil. Brilliant save from uh, Mendy. I think he came off the head as uh, we're going to see uh, Budiaf uh, go off, who had done nothing really. Hatem comes on. So uh, Abdi Hatem, or Abdulaziz Hatem comes on and uh, just uh, fresh legs uh, I would have thought everybody uh, working uh, hard out there Senegal uh, now making uh, ground down the uh, right hand side and the uh, is it shot is it cross comes in from uh, Nampolis Mendy he claims it should be uh, yeah I think it was uh, a deflection off Kuki but he I'm not sure he got it but uh, anyway what it is, some you get, some you don't. Uh, Hatem plays for uh, Al Ryan, 32 years of age now, and there's another one with over 100 caps for uh, Qatar. Abdi Hatem. Anyway, long ball out uh, from the back now. And uh, Qatar uh, now playing a good 10 or 15 metres further up the field. It seems to try to squeeze the game there's the uh, ball uh, not long again and for uh, Mohamed De Ahmed now with Hassan chips it up and there is a thief who's gone really deep wants to dictate play now it's a good ball forward from him and now uh, Ishmael Mohamed Ishmael turns uh, inside all right foot so it's a good ball little back heel into the box nobody uh, behind uh, Mohamed Ahmed and that allows Mendy to slide on it looked good that clever if anybody was coming in behind him but there wasn't so uh, it's unfortunate that 20 minutes of uh, regulation play uh, left at the Al to Mama Stadium in Doha well uh, Senegal have been the better team and they're kind of coasting now at 2-0 um, there was that great chance for Ishmael Mohammed. Kept his head and then his knee. It was a, a pretty good save. But uh, the second goal of the game, uh, just after the break, has really killed off the chance of Qatar. I fancy a near post error from Famara Diadu. Looped over the uh, goalkeeper. Made him look small, Michel uh, Barsham. Uh, small he is, though, necessarily. Made him look small. He, uh, officially, he's five foot eleven. You don't get many keepers, do you? Uh, who are smaller? I dare I say it, that Saeed Al Sheep, who was six foot two, would have saved that uh, that effort. But it is what it is. You know, uh, they uh, they made their decision. Um, I've got to say that Basham uh, made a, a great save uh, individually off. Uh, Ismail Asar in the first half, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, he scampered out there to meet him, did well. And we're going to see uh, a couple of uh, changes now for Senegal. As, uh, they're looking to uh, just uh, freshen things up and uh, maybe uh, slow them down as well. Uh, Bamba Dieng is uh, about to uh, come on. So, uh, also... Uh, a striker uh, and Dai, uh, who plays with the blades at the moment, he's about to come on. So uh, let's say uh, the two strikers all come off. 
ball into the box now and uh, Kuki uh, hammers it across the face how that didn't go in I don't know he was clearly onside when the ball was hit Kuki hits it across and who did that come off came off the uh, the knee of uh, one of the defenders there I think uh, yeah, Jill, as the Qatari fans now were uh, making their voices heard uh, Abdi Hatem has uh, got a corner kick in swing it from the left hand side it goes deep and uh, well, there's uh, a player down there after the uh, challenge so that's going to uh, stop play Jacobs it is uh, down him off at second best there let's hope that he's not play acting holding his head there uh, but uh, Pedro uh, Miguel yeah there was a clash of heads there just after uh, he got his header away so uh, Dia Tu is uh, coming off for uh, Bamba Dieng and then like I said uh, it looked like uh, Ndai was uh, going to come on Eliman check Baroy and Day. And uh, well, the skipper's gone off as well for uh, uh, for Qatar. And uh, Mohamed Montari has come on. Had a quiet game, uh, really. Hassan uh, Al Haidos. And now we're seeing Bamber on the field. Like I said, and Day uh, was with him. Uh, not that they've. Uh, yeah, now they've shown him. So uh, Ismail Asar has, uh, has gone off. Not been his game today, uh, really. But uh, that means that they keep on uh, Bouladier. And so both the uh, stri starting strikers have scored today, Bouladier and uh, Famari Dietu. As the uh, ball goes back to uh, Michel Barcham. Who picks the ball up? She rolls it to uh, Bualem Kuki, and then into uh, midfield, where uh, Madibo flicks it on. And Senegal have it back now with uh, Sabali. He goes back to uh, Koulibaly, and then he's got, uh, if he needs him, uh, Diallo, who's a bit uh, deeper. Jacobs out the left-hand side. Ball uh, flicked down the flank. Chance uh, for a, a little bit of uh, a run for uh, Bulatia. But Pedro Miguel has uh, bought the free kick there. No great pressure on him. And Pedro throws the ball too far ahead of himself for Roro. And then Elio Cisse beside himself in his technical area, pointing here, there, and everywhere. But uh, they look uh, pretty comfortable. Guitar nil at Senegal 2. Goals at either side of the half. 41 minutes. Bull idea presented uh, with a ball off the back side of uh, Kuki. Bulem Kuki tried to clear it, sliced it into his own backside, and the ball presented itself for a right foot finish. He unfortunate that. But then uh, straight after half time, uh, from a corner kick for Mara Diadu with a lovely run at the near post, uh, a header that uh, flicked over into the far post. Uh, I was wondering it made Michelle Basham look small and find out that uh, he's only five foot eleven you never get a goalkeeper at five eleven do you because they always claim that they're six foot no matter what but uh, he's probably not even five eleven and he might be five ten but anyway you know they usually claim if they're close enough to be six foot don't they but uh, yeah he didn't quite didn't get there the story of the game, Qatar and looking the first half, could have got the first goal, uh, they been granted a penalty, and they should have been, as uh, Akram Afif was bundled over by Ismail Assar. And, uh, well, neither referee nor VAR decided to bother themselves about that, as uh, we're going to see more changes now for uh, Senegal, and I think it's right to take uh, Jacobs off, Mendy going off as well. So... Uh, Coming on, Saar and Cisse. So, Pape Cisse will be uh, 
looking to uh, hold it up and uh, Pape Sarr who uh, is only uh, a youngster really at 20 he's on Tottenham's books but uh, you wouldn't have seen much of him as he'd been on loan at Mets um, he comes on and again it's just fresh legs out there isn't it uh, really Anyway, long ball uh, forward uh, reaches uh, Ismail Mohamed. It does well to keep it in. Good breaking cross, and then the headers in the back of the net. And it's a goal for Qatar. And so uh, Mohamed uh, Muntari, first thing he's done is put the ball in the back of the net, and they're back in the game. Qatar 1, Senegal 2. And uh, Mohamed Muntari had to wait for his opportunity. It was a great cross for uh, Muntari. Milking it out, the fans who were celebrating the Qatari flag are waving in the air. It's a good raking uh, crossfield ball from Hassan to find uh, Ishmael Mohammed under no pressure. He, uh, from the byline, put a great cross in. It's a terrific header. Right to the corner. Mendy didn't even uh, move. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a smashing goal, that. Well, we thought it was gone for uh, Qatar. But, uh, maybe uh, there's a bit of life uh, left in them in the group. So, I mean, 11 minutes of regulation uh, time left. The Senegal making all the changes like they, they won the game. 2-0, you've got a tendency to think like that, don't you? But 2-1, it's a different ball game. And Montari has come on and he's had an effect. You know, uh, it was a really great steepling uh, header. He rose high, desperate to get on the end of that. And it was a firm header, but uh, across from the byline, exactly where you want it. No pressure on Ishmael and Mohamed. It was a brilliant ball out from Madal Karim Mahassan as well. Uh, raking crossfield ball from him. But uh, now corner kick uh, for uh, Senegal. Be hoping to get straight back in here with uh, Pape Sisse. Ball comes in. And the Qatari fans now are the ones that are bouncing. So. Uh, yeah, quite a lively atmosphere at the uh, Al Tumama Stadium as the ball goes out. It's another corner kick, actually. Here's Montari at the near post now uh, trying to help sort his teammates out defensively, having scored a goal. And the uh, cross will come in now from uh, Pape Sar. And headed back across and then lashed away. Uh, the Senegal uh, get there first to recycle the ball. A thief there uh, getting in a little uh, tangle with Sabali. But then the uh, ball straightens up. Uh, no quarter Astor given in the middle of the park uh, right now. We've uh, got a right good game on our hands, it would appear. And his final 10 minutes and whatever he's had, it could be 20, couldn't it? Could be 20 minutes left. Senegal uh, seemed to be cruising through. There's uh, Afif uh, there and Sabal just showing us again their uh, little coming together. But the Qatari flags are flying down the stands there. Fans have looked painted on earlier. Bit of animation in there. And the uh, Senegalese fans have been uh, making uh, noise all the way through. Anyway, they've got a free kick kit now. Chance uh, for Sabali to launch it into the area. It's a decent looking ball. Clips off uh, uh, ahead. But uh, in the end, Nothing much to do in uh, there, I think, off uh, Cooley Barley's head. But uh, went straight out, and that would be a goal kick. So, uh, that goal for Qatar sprung life into the game. It looked uh, as dead as a doornail. Still in the group for 1, 2 and 3, Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal. And uh, both on the, all three of those on three points. But uh, Qatar get a point from this, then that final game of the group gives them a, bit, a little bit of life you'd expect the Netherlands to go through anyway wouldn't you but if the uh, Netherlands win this afternoon and they find that they're already through you know uh, will they be resting everybody ahead of the uh, qualifiers it might give Qatar a little bit of life you know, it's got to think forward don't you uh, not over till it's over and you've, you've got to crack on and I did wonder about this tournament the amount of added time that they're uh, giving in games I think it's only just a question of time before uh, somebody gets on the wrong end of a, a scoreline. Montari's uh, 13th goal for uh, Qatar. And uh, he scored a bigger goal than that. 
But anyway, uh, they need another one, don't they? Uh, as uh, we're going to see uh, Mohamed Ahmed uh, go off uh, now. Uh, he has uh, been replaced by the uh, number four. And uh, that's uh, Mohamed uh, Wad. Who, uh, uh, again, he's uh, a midfielder who uh, will want to get forward. And he plays his uh, football... Uh, with the Al Sad. Anyway, uh, 23 years of age. He's actually born in uh, Iraq, Mohammed uh, Wad. But uh, for the moment, he's got to go chasing after the ball. Sabali, uh, a good ball out to his uh, right hand side. And uh, then, uh, well, running through a series of uh, challenges there, the uh, 17. As the shot comes in, and the uh, two goal cushion restored. And Bamba Dieng with a right foot strike there after a barnstorming run from Pape Sar has restored the advantage. And I think that's them done and dusted now. Bamba Dieng does it. But uh, you've got to give credit to the uh, number 17 who uh, you know, uh, ran through a whole series of uh, challenges. Uh, Pape Matar Sar, the youngster from uh, Tottenham, Good right foot finish, but again, we'd all fancy it from where he was. It was the run from uh, Saar, and then the uh, the little uh, cut back from inside the box. And it was a good uh, right foot finish. And uh, Bamba Dieng, uh, I think, yeah, maybe he's got it done. But uh, Papi Saar ran through about three challenges there. So uh, that drive and determination has uh, helped his team get a goal but the fans in the stadium now the Qatari fans are crashed fallen you know uh, there's plenty of time left but they were you know it was a one goal game and uh, and now it's not anymore 84 minutes uh, time that goal you know uh, Senegal have been better when it's been needed you know uh, they the team who clawed the lead out of the game albeit the Qatar should have had a penalty the first half Bula Diaz scored first and they scored after the break when the game looked uh, almost long gone and uh, Mohamed uh, Muntari grabbed one back but when they've been pressed to uh, to go on again they've been able to do it to Senegal and so uh, it's Qatar 1 Senegal 3 5 minutes left of regulation play but uh, well that would sort of knock the stuffing out of you but Got to keep on going. They're trying uh, to work it down the left-hand side, uh, the maroon, but not worked out. And so it will be uh, just a goal kick then for uh, Edouard Mendy, former uh, Ren goalkeeper, uh, where he was uh, spotted by Pedicek, who uh, also used to play for that club. And uh, he advised uh, Chelsea he was the man to go get, and so they did. He looked great, didn't he, his first uh, season or two. Uh, Champions League uh, winners uh, medal as well but this season hasn't been great for him but one fine save in uh, today uh, didn't move for that uh, Mohamed Muntari header though but uh, momentarily it's seemingly uh, given Qatar a route back but uh, now uh, they've got a lot of work to do again two goal cushion Qatar won Senegal 3 87 minutes played uh, now we're, they're as happy to go back uh, Senegal as, uh, as go forward the uh, number four just uh, dropping back Pape Cisse into uh, the hole vacated by Jacobs Diallo's uh, taken more a move out to that left hand side uh, he and Jacobs had sort of done it between themselves really Jacobs had found himself out on the left an awful lot Anyway, long ball forward now. Dieng tries to uh, chest the ball uh, forward, but uh, can't find uh, Bulai Dia. Anyway, ball uh, one back by Senegal and into uh, midfield. But uh, then the uh, ball is uh, given away. Qatar then making ground and sliding. The challenge has uh, gone right through. And uh, the number 11, Pape, uh, Pate Cisse, gets a yellow card for that. You know, uh, he absolutely uh, upended the man uh, racing forward there. Uh, I think it was uh, Ishmael Mohammed who uh, 
again has shown a, a great appetite to get forward. You know, uh, I've got him and uh, uh, Abdul Karim Hassan in the back three, but those guys have really uh, uh, busted the gut. I think he's actually playing in wing back Ishmael Mohammed, but uh, he's shown a, an ability to get on the inside as well. He didn't just want to hang out in the wing and play like a traditional wing back, and he's done a really good. He's had a really good game. Um, yeah, both he and Abdul Karim Hassan have, have put themselves forward. I think Akram Afif looks a decent player. They're a bit short in midfield. I thought Al-Haidus, their skipper, Budiaf didn't play well. Neither has uh, uh, Maribo uh, really uh, taken hold of it. Anyway, it is a free kick. Uh, it's in shooting range, this one. Afif uh, looks like he's going to have a go at this one, but... Um, he's right footed uh, while well, the ball rolled and a shot comes in from Hassan well they fooled me they absolutely fooled me then and uh, uh, Hafif looks like he's about to strike it turns his back on it and then the ball's rolled just forward Hassan lamps it toward the goal very clever that and in the end uh, his uh, ball shot wide I tell you what Mendy did not move and uh, he was as wrong footed uh, as I was uh, wrong tongue there <laughs> you were not expecting that um yeah you see that little bit of enterprise uh, don't you uh, who was it uh, yesterday who surprised us uh, for uh, for ghana and uh Iniaki williams wasn't it who was waiting for the goalkeeper to put the ball down and uh, very nearly uh, made the game three all um uh, you, know, you, you you want that sort of cleverness don't you that uh, that will to, to do something to World Cup do something else you know uh, find a way do something exciting do something extraordinary and that's what the World Cup has been about for me we've seen some brilliant games already some and even the, the games that have nil nil you, you see the hard work and enterprise and desperation almost you forget don't you uh, how much is at stake you know it, it just is it's a lot um, Qatar haven't looked awful I've got to say in this game that they've they've held it together some players have really stood out others not so but uh, I, I've enjoyed watching them today I really have as uh, Senegal try and make ground again and uh, Kuki uh, stands his ground and uh, gets the ball away Wad has uh, made a little bit of ground and Hassan as ever the ball into the box another opportunity and the header comes in he's blocked this time Montari looking for his second goal of the game it was another good cross from Akram Afif but the ball now breaks and Senegal have got to three against three a little step over now the ball flicked on the outstep and in the end we just a Ghana gate was trying to join in with the attack we just let that ball roll out I tell you what Pape Sars looked good since he's come on and we're into six minutes that's all of uh, added time it's a blessed relief really and a yellow card shown to who there i'm not sure madibo what for time wasting why would he time waste he he seems three one down don't really understand that from the uh, referee but uh, anyway i think catch it for the foul before that in fairness he did get the ball but he slid through the man diallo now will uh, take the throw Got to Bull idea, but he, uh, his long throw is uh, uh, quite a good one. And, and in the end, uh, Bamba Dieng had half a chance. They couldn't make any ground at the edge of the area. As uh, Hassan uh, comes away with it. Yeah, if you're a Premier League team, who do you want out of this Qatari side? I'd take Abdul Karim uh, Hassan, I really would. You know, uh, Akram Afif has, uh, has got quality and skill. And Ishmael Mohammed, if you wanted. Uh, a really good right wing back he's your man i think all three of those could play in the premier league i've seen a lot of quality out of them today as uh, we're just watching mawad now the uh, iraqi uh, just slide across they call the ball uh, sabali forward and uh, pape sar just uh, lazy back koulibaly now uh, two pape sis and uh, then again uh, abdu diallo Playing a bit of keep ball, 92 minutes played, uh, it's just six added time, which isn't, uh, isn't an awful lot to really. Anyway, uh, Sabali, good ball forward, Dieng heads it back and finds a white shirt into uh, midfield. 
And uh, Pafé sees, and then Diallo. And then uh, sees again. Flicks it out of his feet. Finds Sabali, who uh, looking for a run out in front of him. And in the end, the cross comes in. Keeper comes out. Barsham punches it. Does well. And then the ball laid back uh, by the uh, number nine, Muntari. And now again, Ishmael uh, Mohammed just kept on going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. He just looks out his feet out there, but uh, he really worked hard for his team. <laughs> he looked absolutely out on his feet. And uh, he'll keep on going, though. i tell you what, I, I, this World Cup has been fantastic, I think. You know, he shouldn't be in Qatar. You know... Uh, and uh, th there's plenty about it that's wrong but uh, in terms of the football on the field i feel proud uh, for uh, iran today i know the players had to they were forced into singing their anthem today but they've made their stand in the game against england you know uh, under all sorts of political pressure but they showed their quality in that game stood uh, tall and uh, they made their fans proud of them good ball into the box here for uh, qatar but eventually it's uh, cleared away players go down but the uh, referee's allowing a, a play on. And uh, Ndai made some ground. And uh, then the ball picked off by Madibo. But again, uh, Senegal winning uh, plenty of 50 50. Just uh, Gay just beaten to the punch there uh, in midfield by uh, Abdi Hatem. And then now a little run around. Uh, the shot comes in, but uh, it's a poor effort really from El Moazali. Left footed uh, shot curling, but never going to curl into the top corner. And it's just not been El Moise's uh, day today. Play some little bits and pieces of good football. But his shot was right into the Senegalese fans. Lots of players uh, out there uh, blowing bubbles at the minute. Madibo had uh, got a yellow card there. And uh, Ishmael Mohammed is down. Absolutely struggling now. He's given everything he's got. Uh, and then a little bit more. But he just doesn't have anything left. 95 minutes uh, played and the Senegalese fans uh, enjoying it the uh, Qatari fans less so but they, uh, their team have uh, done them proud today I think that's not been patronising they, they couldn't have worked any harder you know uh, you can't wave a magic wand over and give them more talent but the talent that they've got has emerged out of their team they've had heroes today as I've mentioned but I, I think uh, all in all the, uh, the Senegalese 11 is just too strong, had too much talent, and they couldn't really cope with it. I think as well, the dominance in midfield for uh, Senegal. Good ball around the back, and uh, just off a chance, Bamba Dieng runs into a challenge, and Kuki this time out on his feet. You know, uh, they, they <laughs> really got nothing left to uh, give. The Lions of Taranga moving on, doing their dance. They have to fight another day. And that tournament is uh, by no means over. There's uh, going to be a, a big uh, reckoning against Ecuador after this. Ecuador, who'd uh, beaten Qatar already. I wonder uh, what the, uh, who's going to be the winner of Ecuador. Netherlands, that's up next. And I'll be around to uh, help cover that game. But for the moment, the short corner taken by uh, Senegal. Ball to end it out by Alwad. Uh, it's another corner kick. Ball going nowhere at the moment. The game petering out. Uh, it's been quite a good game. Uh, sometimes these uh, single comms are difficult to do. But plenty enough excitement, endeavour from both the two teams. And it looks like the uh, referee has seen enough and called it. So, full time at the Al Tumama Stadium. It is uh, Qatar 1, Senegal 3 in the end. First points on the board. For the Lions of Taranga, the host nation still uh, pointless in the tournament. And uh, with a difficult game, uh, finally uh, against the Netherlands in the group. I think it'd be fair to say that uh, they're really going to struggle to uh, get out of the group now. But it's been a good game of football. Bouladia scored in 41 minutes. And then after the break, uh, Fumara Dediu with a header made it two. But Qatar got back in, uh, Mohamed Montari's uh, header there, goal was great. Great cross from Ishmael Mohamed, a great header from uh, Mohamed Montari. And Bamba Diang settled the nerves for the Lions to make it 3-1. Thanks for joining us.
Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested... Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck.
Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? 
Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck.
Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities. Good luck. Our next football commentary match is getting ever nearer, so why not take the opportunity of having a bet on the match? Whether you're interested in betting on the match result, the first player to score, the last scorer, correct score, double result, total goals market, handicap betting, or any other of our exciting markets, it's fun to be involved. Don't forget, when the match kicks off, you can sit back and enjoy superb independent studio commentary while also enjoying our in-play betting opportunities.